What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Poom Plot. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19. We're back on the Millennial Farmer map. How y'all doing? Appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Let's get to some farming, right? That's what we need to do. We have uh, soybeans ready to harvest. So we're going to get that going. Once we get the harvest going, we're going to do something a little else, a little different. Because we should be able to uh, kind of run... You know, we'll get all our course play auto drive going and then I actually have something for us to do after that today, which is different because normally I don't really, you know, have anything for us to do after that. But I do today. So that's a good thing, right? That is a good thing. Anyway, how y'all doing? Appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Don't forget about uh, Twitch today live. Yeah, live on Saturday here, guys. I'm actually going to be on the farms of Madison County. Like all day, all day. Okay, like ten hours of the farms of Madison County. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be making some new fields and stuff like that. And um, yeah, yeah, it should be good. All right, so we'll get this guy going here on three. You guys know we did purchase more fields last time we played. Obviously, our last uh, last video. Wasn't the last time I played this map, but last, last, last video, you know. We got some new maps. Not new maps. New fields. That's the word. And it does feel really good, by the way. I'm finally getting somewhere on this map, you know. Uh, which is good, because, like, it's counting down to our 50th episode, and the goal was to have this series done by 50 episodes. Uh, that's the goal, anyway, so we'll see... That happens or not it should i'm hoping so anyway i'm gonna be probably looking for a new map to play because like the other one you know is is not taking nearly as long madison county is not taking nearly as long and um yeah here obviously we're we're kind of that was not the right thing i didn't see there was a prayer behind my menu there um i gonna say what was I going to say? But yeah, probably going to be looking for a new map to play, honestly. Uh, I don't know of any right now that it would, would interest me. So maybe you leave a suggestion uh, or, you know, wait until the 50th episode and we'll talk about it or probably not late, wait that long because probably should find one so I can roll right into it once I get done with this one. But, you know, whatever. Uh, this one's already set up for field two, so we're just going to leave it on field two as far as auto drive is concerned. So, hey, might as well. Might as well. But yeah, good times, man. Good times. Really getting somewhere on this map, like I said, and it's uh, it's been good. Why is that? Like, why can we? Dang it! It did it again. The same spot too. <laughs> oh, why is that lit up where we can see it? That was weird. Uh, okay. All right, grab a header. And we're right here at the field, so we might as well just, you know, start right here, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. Actually, so today is Friday, right? When I'm recording this, it's Friday. It's 4.30 right now. A little later in the day than I wanted to record, but um, there was there was another thunderstorm. Been having these little, it's been so hot and so humid that these little pop-up thunderstorms just kind of happen in Missouri when it gets this hot and humid, you know, so I don't really amount to anything. At least what we didn't get any rain today, actually, but there was thunder and lightning like crazy. I was actually going to stream uh, GamesCon. FarmSim did a GamesCon like presentation thing where they showed a ton of gameplay footage and stuff. Totally going to stream that, like do a restream on that. But um, yeah, no, I, uh, I I just I was a little nervous about a little nervous about the thunderstorm because they were just kind of bopping around out there, not really moving, but putting down a lot of rain where they did hit and a lot of lightning reaching out pretty far. So I just I, I decided not to. And now it's 430 and obviously that ended like hours ago at this point. So figured I might as well jump on and make this video and then that frees up my uh, my evening a little bit because I am streaming satisfactory tonight which is last night for you guys which the video will be on the second channel eventually you know it's, you guys know how this works by now right yes. oh hello um um 
Well, this is fun. Here we go. Like, uh, something tells me that those cylinders slash the header is not actually strong enough to do that in real life. But I don't actually know that to be a fact. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I am just guessing. That would have been a good thumbnail too. Dang it, I missed it off the... Have to cut it out of the video. That's how I get some of my thumbnails. Some of them I, you know, take screenshots. They're a little higher quality. And then some of them I actually just cut out of the video. I use my editing program and just like take an image basically. And, well, you know, the, as they say, the rest is history, right? Yeah. Good times, good times. All right, we'll get our third combine going. We need to get two more auger wagons and three trucks running, which is great. And then we're going to start on something else, as I was saying before. Okay, you're on auto drive already. You're not. Obviously. Um, you're going to go to field number. You're going to go to five. I believe it's five mid, right? I should really know these by now. But uh, for some reason, I uh, I kind of don't still. <laughs> like, which one am I using on five, field five, you know? Oh, goodness. All right, we'll back this one out as well. Get them all going, to be honest. So. We got our combines kind of scattered right now. Uh, which is fine. 14, well, two is the best one. No, not the one I want. Two, two east, go like truck dispatchers right now or something. <laughs> oh, goodness me. So this, let's see, this is Friday. I will probably progress this progress this map quite a bit before the next video um, because I'll have I'll have some time Friday night after I stream and then Saturday as well so probably gonna get some progression in this map like maybe this I don't know we'll see Let's see all right we need some more wagons we need our other two Argo wagons where's our other oh he's over there on the planer that's right I was like where's our other wagon tractor we need that tractor for something not uh not auger wagon related, but we do need that tractor for something. So we will use him momentarily here. But we'll go this way because we got to drive over here or walk over here or something to get this other tractor off the planter. Which it's crazy that ADAR pulls this planter like it does. I mean, yeah, it gets a little slow at times, but it's uh, it handles, man. It really does. It's pretty great. Not gonna lie. 14 and 14. The new? Okay. And, okay, it did change to 14, and it clicked me into the other. <laughs> oh, that's magic right there. That is just pure magic right there. I swear. All right, so let's go put this guy on, and then we're going to grab the 8RX for a little job. And something we have not actually done in a while on this map. But we're doing it today. We're doing it. You guys might know what I'm talking about. You might not. Where is it? Where is it? Do we still have it? We may have gotten rid of it. That we got. You know what? I know what happened to it. I know what happened to it. I cleaned up my mods today. Yes, I. State. That's not in here. Where's that? Is it in forestry? I better still have one. I don't have one. Why don't I have one? I clean up my mods. Did I clean them up a little too much? Uh oh. Um, I'll be back. I'll be back in a second. Oh, righty. I am back. Had a little bit of a whoopsie there. What actually happened? I was saying right before I, I cut the video there. I cleaned up my mods today like a whole lot. Okay. I cleaned like over a gig worth of mods out of my mod folder today because. They're getting a little out of hand and, and being that, like for this map, it doesn't matter because I'm the only one that plays on this map. I run this on my computer. No, no issues. But over on the farms of Madison County, since I'm running it on a server and it's just, it's just getting a little out of hand with the mods. So I went through today, spent some time and like just nuked a bunch of mods that 
I don't really need, you know? So, a bunch of stuff I don't use or haven't used in forever or never used. There's, there's some of that. So, what I'm looking for, in case you can't figure it out, is a Brux chipper. So we're going to go cut down some trees. But I had the Brux chipper on here that was the smaller capacity. Well, I deleted the smaller capacity Brux chipper because why have it when I have the 500 million or yeah, 500 million liter one? Why not just use that? So when I started this map, I didn't have it active basically. So it did yell at me earlier about mods that I was missing mods, but I was like, okay, whatever. I know I deleted some that were active on here that I've never used or that I'm never going to use, you know, like some smaller tractors and stuff that I just don't. I just don't need. So it was it was good to clean up my mod folder today. It's something that I've been needing to do for a while. And actually I learned something different with with that. Because the way I used to do it was actually go into my mod folder inside Farm Sim, you know? Go all the way in there. But the problem is sometimes mods they have weird named files that don't represent what they actually are. So if you go into the mod hub in the main menu. And then across the top, you have different menus up there, different things you can click on, different boxes, whatever you want to call it. You click on the second one, and I don't know what it's called. I should have, uh, it's probably something like installed mods or something. It shows you all the mods that you have in your mod folder. And you can literally, you can literally go in there and just uninstall them from there. Now, some of them, for some reason, like uh, the farms of, or not farms, what was the map? was the map griffin indiana hey i uninstalled griffin indiana if there's an update for it anyway whatever not playing it actively so it doesn't matter right so uninstalled griffin indiana it took like four tries but it did eventually uninstall it and it deleted it out of my mod folder so that's a way easier way to clean up mods than what i was doing in the past so i guess you learn something new every day right so if you didn't know that go to the main menu and I'm assuming this really applies for PC people. Of course, console could do this too, but that's the only way you could do it on console, I guess. But on PC, go to the main menu, go to the mod, mod hub, basically. And then it's the second tab at the top. The second one from the left. And, uh, yeah, I had no idea. You guys are probably going to be like, yeah, dumb, dumb. Like, that's been there forever. That's by far the best way to do it. That's the easy way to do it. Why didn't you know about that? You're an idiot. You have almost 5,000 hours in this game and you're an idiot. I know. I am. I accept. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. But it's so much easier. Yeah, okay. This little guy. This little guy right here. No reason for it to be there. Hopefully we can take it out, actually. I don't actually know. If we can take that one down or not. Cool. Not quite like I wanted it to go, but I mean, I got the. There we go. No, come on, come on, come on, little guy, come on. To do the trick where I have to raise and lower it real fast. He just doesn't want to go down. He just doesn't want to go down. Okay, I'm from the other side, and then move on. Not every tree is a cut downable tree, you know. Some of them grow fits. Yeah, he's not. He's not gonna work. All right, we don't have any wood chips anyway. I was worried about getting wood chips in this trailer over here, but I don't have any wood chips anyway, so what's it matter? Uh, and I know it's weird to have my headlights on, but it makes finding stumps a lot easier. By the way, those are the trees. Yes, sir. I did have to restart all the auto drive and force play and everything before, by the way. When I came back in, this was fun, but not a big deal. Not really a big deal. Um, what's going on here? All right, there's some rocket launch on right now that I've got up on a different screen. It looks like they have, uh, looks like they're not launching. Let's put it that way. Wait, what? Oh, I don't own that. Well, excuse me. Pardon me. I thought I owned this land. My bad. I have my apologies. Holy cow. We'll definitely make this $144,000 back. I don't think that uh, trees are very profitable on this map. I mean, there's not really a lot of them. 
but I don't think they're very profitable either. And I haven't done like, well, okay, since Griffin Indy, or not since Griffin, um, it's been a couple weeks since I've really used a Brux Chipper. It's one of those tools where you just like forget how good the thing is, you know? So, yeah. Ideally, we're going to be starting a new multiplayer map here soon. And then, like I was saying, I guess I need to start looking for, uh, for another single player. Run two single players for a little while. Again, you know, just like I am right now. Actually try to put out content. I've been, I think I've been doing okay lately, but, you know, I think you guys understand that, like, hey, if a video doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And if it does, then, hey, that's cool, too, you know? You guys are very kind to me in the comments, always. Always, always, always. I do appreciate that guys. Unless Carson's leaving comments, they're kind of... They're usually kind of rude. <laughs> I won't even lie. <laughs> oh, is that bad to say? That's bad to say, right? Oh. Didn't say that. He's kind of like my employee in a way. So, kind of, but not, you know? Independent contractor, we'll say. I don't know. So obviously you guys can tell the strat here is uh, plowing fields together um, at some point here in the near future. I'll be doing that. The first thing first, I think, is get everything harvested and uh, then we'll kind of go from there with like a clean slate. So probably next video is going to be uh, plowing some fields together. I do want to do that other field project I was talking about too down where the, the pig... Uh, the pig, pig area used to be the paddock down there. I, I think I want to go ahead and get rid of that because why not? To be completely honest, I mean I already got rid of most of it by accident, so might as well get rid of the rest of it on purpose, you know? Yeah, ah, these trees are so good to cut down with this box. This thing, this is gonna be something I really miss in 22 when we get 22. But it's okay. You know, I'm sure it'll make its way over there eventually. I just hope it's as good as this one. Because this one is absolutely just insane the way it eats trees. It really is. Really fantastic. Just saying, if you guys want this, there is a link in the description, by the way, to a Google Drive, which I'm going to update before this video comes out. I'll kind of refresh because I've. You know, clean up my mods a lot, so I might as well clean that folder up too for you guys. Uh, if you guys are interested, this Brux is in there. It is in there. This is the 500... 700? 500? Mil I think it's 500 million liter one. Basically, you can cut all day and you're not going to fill it up, okay? That's basically the gist of it. Alright, so there's the trees up here that I wanted to cut down. Let's run down to the pig area down there just to... Uh, just to see. And just in case I come across any empty trucks. Running around, we'll put our mic down. I don't want, I don't want to fill up any trucks that I accident, you know, like by accident. All right, cruise control, please. So there's trees all along this water too. We could clean those up if we wanted to. Um, there is a course play or an auto drive course that runs in between these fields, but I have actually cut it off over here on the left side of the map. Uh, because when running multiple trucks over here to sell to the, to the left, left side of the map, it um it would collide so i actually had it where the trucks would come in from the top and then they would leave going out the bottom which yes it took forever but and actually it, it worked out you know it worked better in my opinion than having having them get stuck all the time where i'd have to babysit them at least if they were kind of doing their own thing they're doing their own thing and i didn't have any uh i didn't have any issues with them you know so all right, so I think we need to um, look in our shop here, I believe. That's stuff that we own. Yeah, so I think it's going to be this guy right here. I think that was it. That would be it. It's gone off the map now. Okay. So we no longer have any of this stuff over here. And uh, which means we, oh, I got these trees down too. Well, I'm getting distracted now. Cut trees down. Cut them all down. Cut them all down. No more trees. No more trees. <laughs> uh, 
kind of the motto for a lot of maps I play, you know? Get rid of all the pesky trees. They're in the way. They stop your equipment. They're nothing but problems. Just get rid of them, you know? Gone. Junk. They're all junk. Can we use the map project hider mod to get rid of this? <laughs> oh goodness, that's a dangerous mod too, by the way. That's a dangerous mod. I did keep that one. It does like to conflict with global company, so if you have a lot of global company buildings you're using, it's probably gonna crash your map. But all I'm using global company for on this map is the uh the symbols in the escape menu, so Nothing to see here, chat. Comment section, you wins. I always say chat like I'm streaming. Not streaming right now. Better not be anyway. No. You know, those buttons are literally one right, like on top of the other one in OBS. At least the OBS that I use, OBS Studio. I can't, I can't move. Hello? There we go. And uh, every time I hit start recording, I have to really look at it and go, okay, what does that say? Because <laughs> like, it's either start streaming or start recording. Those are the two, uh, those are the two options there. And so I really have to kind of, kind of look at that and be like, okay, let's make sure here. I mean, not that it would be a big deal if I was streaming on this scene that you, know, you guys can See the game on right now or whatever because it's literally just the game and my microphone and that's it you know there's no like webcam turned on where you'd see my five head because i'm not wearing a hat right now oh no that's like my biggest fear honestly i don't want people to see me without my hat on not really a fear i wouldn't say that but that's something i want that's for sure we'll get rid of that rock later i'm just going to focus on trees here for a little bit you have to watch out for that truck over there i gotta stay away from him Need to stay away from him. These trees, these trees kind of not as much fun. Not as much fun over here. Oh, that tree may not go. Which honestly, down here, I wasn't planning on making this a field anyway because it's so narrow. With the equipment that I run, I can use the map object hider mod to get rid of it too. Last six. Bye. <laughs> that is such a dangerous mod. It, oh, man. All the telephone. You can just clean a map so much. You probably break it at the same time, but whatever. So there's the barbecue pit, by the way. That was laying in the ditch in front of, like, Millennial's house IRL. Forever. I don't know whatever happened to it. Somebody finally cleaned it up. Yep, there's the barbecue. I actually found, if you go to the southwest corner of this map, there's a car that crashed into a telephone pole. And you hear Mr. Zach Johnson, the millennial farmer. He does his, like, hey, are you okay? <laughs> this is what he says. But I was hauling grain, the truck drove through there. I was just, like, riding along in, on column, or, uh, what's it called? Auto drive. And uh, it goes driving through there, and I just hear Zach go, hey, are you okay? And I was like, what the heck was that? I looked, and I'm like, I'm not, I don't have anything millennial farmer pulled up or anything, like, on any of my screens or whatever. And I'm like, what the heck was that? So I, like, went, jumped out and walked back here, and sure enough, you get around the car, and he's like, hey, you okay? It's funny, I'm still finding stuff about this map. All the way down here in the bottom left, bottom left corner off of field 10. You know, there's stuff up here in the, in the, uh, like the, where the chickens are up there in that graveyard too, where he talks to you or it's like, he jumps, it's like he jumps out at you or whatever. It's, I don't need to. You know what? We're in this ditch. We might as well. You want to save that for another time over there. That's what we're going to do. So this map's about to change, making some custom fields, that kind of stuff. Never, never, never a bad thing, but just, you know. Definitely going to change a little bit. Found some fields together. And of course, the more field edge that we have, the more money that we can make because we'll have more crop. And that's kind of the point of plowing these fields, especially this area right here, because really 
With the equipment I have, these couple fields here aren't really usable. I mean, I guess four would be, but one not so much, and seven. I can't, horse play doesn't like seven at all, so can't really do anything with that, you know? Which is kind of funny. And I don't really need to take out this grove here, but, you know. Never hurts to clean up a few of them, right? Never hurts. So we'll save our wood chips uh, for a future selling time. Of course, but I do want to take the shoes out long this, this ditch is going. I am getting rid of this thing. It's like the last thing I do is going. I've put up, you know, you guys a long time ago said to keep it. I've, I've kept it long enough. Yes, it gives the map character. I do agree with that. But, wait, what tree is it? Didn't I cut those trees down down there? Didn't I, didn't I cut those trees down that are... Oh, maybe it's those those trees over there. Okay, because I'm like, I know I cut those trees down. What, if, what am I seeing over there? I'm going crazy. Short drive. Driving, you know... My dad always does that. When I'm like, hey, so-and-so's driving me crazy. He's like, short drive. Dang it, Dad, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Right down the street. <laughs> short drive, he says. And I'm like, dang it, you're, you're not wrong. That's the bad thing. You're not wrong. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time, too. Sometimes I say, you know, somebody's driving me crazy just to have him be like, short drive, huh? Kind of like a running joke that we have between us, you know? So if somebody tells you guys that somebody's driving them crazy, just without hesitation, just go, short drive, huh? <laughs> uh, I wasn't planning on cutting these down, but hey, you know what? You know what? Why not? Cut them down. Cut up. Oh, oh, no, maybe not. Come on. I don't want a tree anymore. Yes. Cut it down. Cut it down. Never seen that movie. I sing that song a lot. Let it go, you know. Never seen it. Never seen the movie. Add that to the list of like children's movies that I've never seen, which is fine because I'm not a child, but pretty much every adult's seen a bunch of those kid, kid movies or um, when they were kids. I, I never saw half of that stuff. Never did see any of it. Anyway. Last one for today. Last one. There we go. A million liters of uh, wood chips coming up. All right, let's put our pipe down before we accidentally fill something we don't want to. And uh, with that, guys, I am going to run the harvest out for a little bit, uh, but it's my time to go uh, actually make dinner for the family and, and stuff, so I'm going to get on with that, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember, progression is going to happen before the next uh, video quite a bit as well. Anyway, y'all have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and as always, that's oodles.